Yo, 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 what is up, fam? It's your dude, fan of here. Hello, world. Pom -pom. Hello, hello. Pom Perrin, the infamous hacker and owner of Brick. Oh, snap. Hacker? Choosing an, an avatar like this? Breach Forums was recently arrested, and the FBI has just re um, They caught him, bro. Revealed exactly how they tracked him down. But before we get to that, how did this guy... Got the boss man who brands himself using a Hello Kitty character, rise to become one of the Hello Kitty of all things, guys. most famous personalities in the cybercriminal underworld. Well, owning Breach forums certainly played a part. It's become Definitely. I mean, it looks like he's probably going to be the one, the owner. One of the largest I mean, uh, obviously, he just said so, but English-speaking Black Hat forums on the internet. Black Hat, man? Not a fan of Black Hat. Not a fan of Black Hat hacking. The most famous section being the leaks market, which has facilitated the sale of countless data breaches. Yeah, they're selling... Guys, I can't believe there, there's like public websites that just are like this, guys, and they're just, they're just chilling here, guys. I, I don't, do not understand. I'd say maybe even most of the leaks we've looked at on this channel over the past year came from breach forums. Dang, bro, okay. Aside from being a cyber criminal kingpin, Pom Pom Perrin when he calls himself like headmaster, like he gives himself that flair, you know he's got also you know. gained notoriety and became a bit of a celebrity for his rivalries with security researchers. The nah, bro. most notable being his frequent and very public clashes with the owner of Nightline Security, Vinny Troyer. Which Dang bro, it's like Good versus evil at this point. Which stems from Vinny's unsuccessful attempts to unmask Perrin's real identity. Perrin wasn't too happy with these attempts and responded by unleashing a multi-year-long troll campaign against Vinny, which included hacking his Twitter account as well as breaching the National Center for Missing and... Yeah, I don't want to beef with a... Uh... Hackers, man, that it doesn't sound good. Exploited children, all in an effort to put out an alert claiming Vinny is a pedo. But by far his biggest troll was... Sag, bro. Making boss freaking stuff like that, man. Not, not the coolest thing. He's utilizing a vulnerability in the FBI website itself to send thousands of spam emails from a legit FBI email address warning of fake cyber attacks being perpetrated by Vinny. But arguably Pom Pom's biggest enemy was his ego, which is by no means... I'm sure. I mean, having la last video we saw with the uh, Instagram influencer. Unique amongst cyber criminals. Whilst attracting... You, you, you get in this mentality because you're not like in trouble currently that it won't happen. It happens all the time, guys. Even when playing games, you know, you're, you're winning and then you don't think you'll start, stop winning. I think that that's what happens. Acting so much a lot when, uh, you know, somebody has a mentality like that. Attention made him a celebrity amongst his peers. It's painted a large target on his back in the eyes of the FBI, which has just revealed exactly how they hunted him down. For this story, we have to go back to the days of raid forums and now see. That looks like a exactly almost like a carbon copy of a. The other words that you just mentioned, breach forums. Black Hat sites that Perrin was a regular user of. When the FBI shut the site down last year, they obtained its database, which included the private messages of all the forum's members. One they hacked they hacked the hack for they hacked the website themselves, bro. And such conversation between Pom Pom Perrin and Raid Forum's owner, Omnipotent, is of particular interest. They were discussing a data leak pertaining to the keyboard app AI.Type. Hackers using a, a, a public domain website and not like some encrypted debt. I mean, they, the FBI can seize anything really they want. Type. Over 30 million users' details were leaked, and the database was, of course, posted on raid forums. The database was set to include all the app's users. However, Perrin messaged Omnipotent, saying the leaked database could not have contained all the app's users because his email wasn't included in the dump. He uh -oh, uh -oh. says, not messaging to ask for credits back or anything, because I wanted it anyways. I just wanted to let you know that it doesn't seem to be the full amount of data. Omnipotent responds, What email did you look up and how? I don't want to share my actual email for obvious reasons, but this email seems to have the same case as mine. Connor Fitzpatrick 2 at gmail.com Pom Pom Perrin no doubt thought he was being real smart when he told Omnipotent this wasn't his email. But not only was it his real email, but it contained Perrin's real name. What the heck?
So he just shared his email on, oh my gosh. Connor Fitzpatrick. Whilst Omnipotent didn't figure this out, the FBI did. After the FBI served Google warrants, they found that this email was linked to a Google Pay account, which- Yeah, they, that's usually have to, how they do it. They have to like serve the company with it to, in order to get the stuff out from the company. Another Gmail account shared the same details too. The FBI investigated this second email and found it was accessed. Oh, it was a similar. Uh, you, you gave you gave an example email with the same first and last name, and like a a couple characters difference. Using the same IP address as a Zoom account, which was registered to the email address pompomperin at riseup.net. Hey, it's hard to not like you get lazy and then you don't like attach different emails for different logins on different websites. Because nobody, ain't nobody want to do that, bro. Which is the exact same email that Perrin used to log into raid forums. Regardless of whether Perrin used VPNs or Tor, he had committed the deadly sin of mixing his... They, they can get through all that, even if he has like six proxies, man. IRL and online identities. Firstly, when he sent Omnipotent that fateful message. And secondly, when he mixed the IPs he was using for his... I that, that is private message you would, you know... Only, uh, first of all, he trusted the guy, which, you know, that could have not happened. Like, he could have uh, backfired on him, so, uh, I don't know. IRL and Pom Pom Perrin identities. Oh, and those Google Pay accounts were linked to Pom Pom's home address, so tracking him down was simple. Court documents show that when Pom Pom Perrin, also known they got him, they got him, man. And by his much less catchy name, Connor Brian Fitzpatrick, was arrested, he quickly accepted the game was over, admitting to the FBI that he was Pom Pom Perrin and the owner and admin of Breach Forums. Connor was charged with conspiracy to solicit individuals with the purpose of selling unauthorized. I mean, they could, like, look up who have, as, like, a... Purchase the website, right? It's pretty easily, I think. Priced access devices. Access devices simply being a fancy term for a means of accessing an account, like usernames and passwords. His bail was set at $300,000, which was promptly paid by his parents. Hey, bro, his parents are loaded. Because the guy is apparently only 20 years old. And under sentencing guidelines, he could be facing the next 20 years of his life in prison. And that's a while. But they always say he's could face this match. I don't think he's going to face this much, guys. I don't think he did that. Like, that much of a terrible... Like, I don't think he had, like, billions and billions of dollars. Or millions, rather. Sorry, guys. Breach Forum's second... Just uh, had to have sleep. ...in command, an admin going by Baphomet, posted an announcement in the early hours of Perrin's arrest, saying he assumed the worst after just 24 hours of Perrin being AFK, which really puts into perspective just how glued Perrin was to his criminal enterprise. During this initial 24 hours, Baphomet removed his access to all important infrastructure and restricted his forum account so he could still log in, but not carry out any administrator actions. He's also been monitoring logs to see if there's been any access or modifications to Breach Forum's infrastructure. Snap. They're trying to take- they might be trying to take down the website or something, guys. Which brings us to the next act in this saga, the future, or lack thereof, of Breach Forum's. Breach Forums was born out of the downfall of Raid Forums, an almost identical site hosting a community dedicated to- It's like a kick taking a- which is freaking UI and, and <laughs> it's basically- Cybercrime with sales of hacking tools, a leaks market and so on. After eight years on the internet, Raid Forums was, well, raided themselves by the FBI with its owner omnipotent arrested. To this day, the 21 year old behind it is- Dang. Still fighting extradition to the US. Dang, bro. And he just followed in his footsteps. He didn't care. Uh, I guess he wanted the clout and stuff, man. The sh Not worth it, right, guys? The shutdown of raid forums left its half a million registered users homeless. But Pom Pom Perrin, a user of the site with a good reputation, soon stepped in to fill the void, creating breach forums. The new wanted to stand up for hacking i guess guys site was pretty much a continuation of raid forums just under new 60,000 users man wow management so much that many interested in it guys yeah uh, why, why not dedicate your time to something else though bro so that Perrin even let users keep the ranks they had gained on raid forums 
However, barely 12 months after Breach was set up, with Perrin now sitting in a jail cell, admin Baphomet has been forced to not only restrict Perrin's access to the site he founded, but ban him altogether. After all, it's clear at this point he just ain't coming back, and fear runs high that the FBI could in some way exploit Perrin's access to Breach forums in order to de-anonymize its users. Let's not forget, after Raid Forum's seizure, it was transformed into an FBI honeypot. Every page on the site redirected to a login page that law enforcement was using in order to grab user credentials. Oh snap, they're, they'd be actually phishing now. <laughs> After banning Perrin, Admin Baphomet vowed to take over the site and keep it alive long term by migrating to new infrastructure. However, this pledge didn't last long. He soon released an update saying he was going to shut down breach forums for good. Reason being that logs showed someone, presumably the FBI, had exploited Perrin's credentials to access breached infrastructure shortly after his arrest. Meaning, in his words, nothing can be assumed safe, whether it's our configs, and they, they they like reverse engineered the website, man. So that for safety, they had to shut it down, basically, man. What the heck? Dang. FBI on point with this, guys. Source code or information about our users, the list is endless. This means I can't confirm the forum is safe. His fears were confirmed in the last day or so, when newly published court documents revealed Pom Pom Perrin's other OPSEC mistakes, like the time he forgot to use a VPN when logging into Breach forums, but rather using an IP address registered to his real home address. The fact the FBI even know this... Yeah, they be using VPNs, to most of them nowadays, guys. ...confirms they have access to Breach forums database, just as they did with Raid forums. And most hackers just use a VPN for the most part, guys, of all things. What happens now? Well, Baphomet says he's having conversations with competitive forum admins, hoping to work with some of those people to build a new community. Whether that happens or not, the void will be filled one way or another, with its quarter of a million users, now internet refugees. And quarter? Oh my gosh, bro. I didn't know that was a, such a big com... Uh, er, er, there's community, like, that's a whole... There's not even that many players logged in a RuneScape at OSRS at that like uh, at any time in, in the day man this video was made possible and that, that is, he's not even talking about like competitor forums or anything guys possible by Altium Designer the world's number one PCB design software 30 Whoa. 35 years of innovation and development has gone into this bit of kits and it really shows nothing else that's pretty cool it, it sucks I know it Anywhere near to like developing this stuff so. used comes close to the sheer breadth and depth of features. If you dabble in PCB design at all, you have to give this a go. The I do not. The routing engine, even just in of itself, is sublime. Grab your free trial. Hey, so it looks cool. Where it goes? PCB development. Wow, that's super technical, man. This is why you should assume you you've already been hacked. Never share any, any revealing info about yourself. Um, gross negligence aside, can we take a moment to discuss Baphomet's top-notch opposite? Revolt's POMS Act says based on the fact that you've been inactive longer than usual, decided to scrap the site altogether. Zero assumptions. Yeah, he... He, <laughs> he was quick. He was quick to, um... Act on that. Almost comical how he got cut. <laughs> For reals, bro. He snitched on himself, basically. Almost. I can't believe the guy actually gave out his real mail address and used his personal IP for crime. Oh, bleh. Maybe he wanted to, like, uh... make a statement of, about it or something. I don't know, guys, but... Can't send somebody with a cr cute profile picture to jail. <laughs> But yeah guys, that's the video. Peace out everyone. Thank you for watching. Check out Satanic in the description. I'll see you guys next time.